Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, here's Dave. He's just here to a bit of an interview, basically, a bit of a Q and A, uh, talking about his experiences, what he does to promote what he does as well to the channel. Um, the reason why he's here is because he's actually doing something, and I like people that are actually that have our ideas but actually act upon it and do it. So um, this is him. This is me. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna tell you what he does. Yeah, absolutely. So, firstly, Phil, thanks for having me on the channel, Pop. No problem. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, my name's Dave, and I run a company called Understanding E, which helps small to medium sized businesses, uh, e commerce businesses, sell onto multi channel e commerce, like eBay, Amazon, the right way, and also using multi channel software to automate processes and ultimately sell more online. Uh, so, yeah, that's like the top level stuff of what I do. Um, I started the business now nearly four years ago, and uh, yeah, I, before that I left university with a history and politics degree, knowing only that I did not want a career in history or politics. <laughs> Bit of a waste of time really, but never mind. Uh, I fell into a job doing digital marketing, which slowly turned into e-commerce, and I was there for about three and a half years, and in that time, uh, we took them from doing sort of small sales, mainly eBay auctions, then going on to do over a million pounds a year just on eBay alone, also selling on Amazon and a website as well. The problem with that was, this was an entrepreneur bug, so it was, it was there, it was not quite sure what to do with it. There wasn't a large ladder of progression in the business, so I left and then went to a fashion company in Manchester and we did. Uh, almost the same thing again. We took them from a small business doing mainly £2,000 online to within six months doing £24,000 online. Uh, so incredible growth. And that's when I sort of realised I know what I'm doing. I get this. <laughs> I understand this. Um, and at the same time, I also realised I'm making someone else a lot of money. Uh, and I was getting paid all right. Well, you know, it wasn't in the realms that I was aspiring to. So I took the leap. Uh, that leap of faith into sort of self-employment or doing something for yourself. Um, quit the job, handing my notes in, and three or four weeks later, was all of a sudden left to my own devices with my computer, trying to find uh, businesses that I could consult with. And like I said, I knew a lot of people within the industry already who've been worked in it for nearly four years at this point. And yeah, all of a sudden I got to work with the cool people, the, the entrepreneurs, the people who were out there doing it, like we said. Not the talkers, but the doers, who were building businesses, who were buying products, selling them. And that's what I love to do. I was all of a sudden surrounded by people who were crazy in the best possible way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, getting to work with them rather than for them, that distinguishes really clear. You're working with them, not as an employee. And we got to work together on problems they were facing and solutions, and that's what I really like to do. And again, about a year after that, uh, my business, my now business partner, came to me and went, "Dave, I've got this idea for Understanding E. This is what it is." I went down to Bristol where he lives, and we, we ran through it. Loved the idea. We crunched a few numbers and realised the traditional model didn't work that well. Uh, you know, hiring buildings, having staff, overheads, all of a sudden got really expensive, and it was a huge risk. But not a great reward for a long time. And that's when, about a month after that, we sort of thought about taking it purely online, online business, uh, creating tutorials and content, webinars, and podcasts, and all that sort of stuff. And we did it. We, like I said, it had never been done before. Uh, and as far as we know, it hasn't been done since the way that we do it. And yeah, it's going really well. Um, so yeah, that, was, that brings us up to today. Yeah, so it's been going for about four years now. So cool. Um, one of the questions um, that I want to, the people to know more about mm -hmm. is the obstacles and your right. mindset. Yes. What obstacles on your way did you occur and then think, you know what? Okay. Uh, yeah. This is a turning point. The biggest obstacle is money. Uh, it really is because, like I said, I was consulting. Uh, and the consultancy stuff was good, you know, I, was, I could charge a reasonable amount of money, but there was always going to be a limit. And that limit is always, with consultancy, the, the amount that you charge times by however long you're willing to work, that will always be your limit. That's your top ceiling level right there. Um, 
Now, when we started understanding it, me and my business partner both sat down and, and sort of said, right, if we do this, we have to throw full time at it with no pay. You know, we, there's no money in the business. We're starting it from scratch, we're bootstrapping it, we're just going to throw time at it. And that was the hard thing, you know, that was the, from going from having money coming in quite, you know, readily and, you know, being comfortable. Um, so then going right. This is this is the risk. This is this yeah. is that leap that we were talking about. It's like okay, now we're gonna leap into the unknown. We have no idea whether this has worked. Never been done before. And yeah, so money is the biggest obstacle I think for most people. How to get around that is um, I I used to ask myself the same question, which was, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. What's the worst that can happen if it doesn't work? You know, I had money saved up. Uh, and I just had to really cut down on my expense, you know, no more going out, no, you know, all that sort of stuff. And if it didn't work, what would happen? I could go back to consulting. Like I said, I, I, had a lot of, I had a large network of people. I could go and say, right guys, I'm available again, let's talk. Or I could go and get a job. It wouldn't be the great scenario, it wouldn't be for me, but if I had to do it, I could do it. And that was the worst case scenario. And often I found when you put it like that, the worst case isn't usually that bad. You know, no one's going to take you outside and shoot you. you know, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. Um, so, yeah, the biggest obstacle was money. Um, also, the mindset. I was turning to Theo before off camera. There was, you know, for the first year, year and a half, I took no money out of the business. Um, and we were making money after about six or eight months. But before that, on that lead up to that six or eight month period, me and my business partner were working seven days a week doing 16, 17 hour days, um, just grinding, just getting stuff done. I, you know, I'm not a morning person, so I'd wake up maybe nine, be sort of working by 10-ish, and then, but I would still then be working at two, three o'clock in the morning, going all the way through, um, just because you have to get things done. If I can't invest money in it, I've got to invest time. And, you know, those, those are the two commodities you have. And, and like I said, that was, so that was it. I had to, I knew I wanted to create something. Yeah. And like I said, the only thing I could give it was time. That was all it would take. And, and like I said, I, you know, I missed out on a lot of social life. I, you know, I didn't go to many parties. You know, a lot of weekends were spent tapping away on a computer. <laughs> but these are the things that you do as an entrepreneur. You sort of, you, these are the sacrifices you make. And there's a, there's a saying, which is the definition of an entrepreneur is um, you work like no one else will, so that one day you can live like no one else can. What inspired you um, to start up your own business? I think uh, the best answer to that question was, and there was always something inside me which I wasn't happy working for someone else, so yeah. to speak. I, I knew I could give more and do more and Whenever I had an idea that they said no to, that really annoyed me. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, I know this will work, I know it will work. And, you know, to then think, well, if I ran it, I'd do it this way. And there was always that sort of niggling thing going on in my head, which was, I know, trust me, I know what I'm doing, I know how this will work. So there was that. And I think also, some of the, that's been sort of on my mind uh, for the past few years is, is there like an entrepreneur gene? Is there something predisposed in certain people which makes them want to, you know, go down more entrepreneurial routes, set up their own business, start so at least create something? Um, my dad uh, was a great example. He started his own business when he was uh, 24, which just so happened to be the same age as I when I was self-employed, and you know, he's been a very successful businessman throughout his life. And again, on his own terms, I think is the key. Is like. He started, you know, he did the same thing, got his experience, but then uh, took an opportunity and went and set up on his own. And again, there's no sort of formal training involved. In I've got a degree in business studies, none of that stuff. It is literally, you will learn as you go, and overcome obstacles as you go. I think it's that attitude of, people sometimes see a problem and then see that as a reason why not to do something. Whereas entrepreneurs will usually see a problem and then stop at nothing to get past it, get over it, go through it, whatever. Uh, and I think it's that sort of tenacity within them. Um, so again, that's 
whether there's been something, like I said, whether there's something in me which just makes me wired that way, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that coupled with experiences in employment and being a little bit, I don't know, disheartened, I guess, uh, and I'm feeling that I could do it better. Yeah. Let me show you I can do it better. That sort of thing, I think. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what's your vision for the future and then also the internet? Oh, all right, okay, so the future for like my business. Um, continued growth is obviously great. Um, next year will be a big year. In what I do, Magento is a huge part. They've just released Magento 2 not long ago. So we'll be really busy creating new content for the website for that. eBay has a new CEO in charge, Devin, who seems to be you know really pushing, to, trying to innovate once again with eBay, which is exciting for the e-commerce guys. Amazon will continue to just crush it online. Those guys, whatever they touch, they go after it 100% and they make waves in the industry. Um, so, I think e-commerce is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. More people with mobile phones, mobile commerce, more people online. Um, I don't think e-commerce is going any, away anytime soon. So I think I'm quite comfortable in the arena that I'm in um, as far as longevity goes. Uh, also, uh, I'm working on a couple of software products as well, um, which again will help sellers sell online more effectively. So yeah. I, so that's the future for my business. The future for the internet, like I said, it's only going to get bigger. Uh, Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, is working on initiatives to bring Wi-Fi to Africa, to um, places in Asia. Um, so it's only going to result in more and more businesses, more and more people being connected online. Uh, yeah, the internet is only going to get bigger. It's only going to become more. Uh, important in our everyday lives. If not, if you haven't heard of the Internet of Things, Google it. It's it's going to be huge. Um, you know, having apps to control heating, which we already have, and you know everything. Knowing, you know, being able to track buses on your phone, see where your bus is coming. Everything, you know, within the near future will be touched by the internet. Uh, and like I said, the now has never been a better time for entrepreneurs watching this right now to spot an opportunity and to go after it. Um, what's your, what do you define as success? So that's a really interesting one because uh, if you'd have asked me like seven to ten years ago, I would have probably given the standard answer of, you know, yacht in the Caribbean, yeah. helicopters, <laughs> billions, you know. And, and my answers changed slightly. You know, a yacht would still be nice, um, but you know, I think I think success is uh, largely happiness. Um, are you happy doing what you are doing? Uh, because I know a lot of rich people who aren't happy. So you know, success to them. They can have all the money in the world, but if they're not happy, it doesn't mean anything. So I would say, do what you love. Do it with passion, and success will come from that uh, and also money will come from that as well. Money is like a byproduct of doing what you love and following it with passion. Um, and I, I would also say time. time. Time is tied in with that as well because as far as I say there's two things, money and time. And most people fall into two categories, they're either time rich and cash poor or cash rich and time poor. So, the holy grail is to be time rich and cash rich. Have all the money in the world with all the time to do with it what you want. Um, so I think as there's, there's going to be a shift within our lifetime certainly where the normal nine to five jobs will slowly disappear, probably taken over by computers, uh, and that will give people more time to do what they love to do. And I think uh, like I said, I hope certainly in, like I said, in the not too distant future more people will find success or at least happiness um, by following what they want to do. I'm lucky, you know, I, I, I went to see it because I, I didn't see it that way. Right, yeah. say it's, 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 everybody so. defines it differently, but like I said, I'm, I'm fortunate, you know, I can, I can run my business from anywhere in the world and, you know, being able to travel for some people is super important. Uh, and to them that would be being successful, running a business that they can travel with. Others might want a business where they can raise a family. Um, and if you can do both at the same time, that's, that's success. So again, success is very unique, but for me, 
like I said, having time, having money, uh, freedom, but ultimately being happy. Like I said, I'm lucky. I, I love what I do. I love working with the people I work with. Uh, and to me, going to work doesn't feel like going to work. I don't wake up on Monday going, oh, it's Monday, I've got to go to work. I wake up on Monday going, right, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, take from that way. <laughs> Um, how can people get in contact with you? Um, well, like I said, if anyone is interested in selling online and multi-channel stuff, uh, the website is understandinge.com. Uh, I am on Twitter, Dave underscore Furnace. Uh, and also, I have set up a YouTube account. There's nothing on it yet, um, but it's called Mank Entrepreneur. So I make, I, I've got a list of about 15 videos I want to make. I just need to get around to doing it. Um, so yeah, they're, they're probably the best way to go. Cool. So you know what Dave's doing? Um, by the way, I'm going to start up pretty soon with Dave with um, selling on Amazon and mm. eBay and then also my own e-commerce. I'm going to try and come up with like... Got some good, uh, good ideas. Some, got some good ideas. Yeah. So hopefully I'll have my guys connect with Dave. Dave's he told you where you can catch him. Absolutely. So make sure you tune in, give him a call, email him, DM him, inbox him, whatever, <laughs> just get in contact really with him. <laughs> um, and then start making things happen. Dave's done it, he shows that he can make things happen and mm -hmm. I believe that everyone's got it in them to Absolutely. do so. so. And, and the, the key for me is when you're at the lowest low and you think, you're wondering why you're even doing this, you've just finished a 16 hour day, you're grafting away and you're thinking why? Just remember what is in your mind and what you're trying to create, the difference you're trying to make, and all of a sudden you'll have that renewed, that renewed sense of purpose and you'll go after it. Don't give up is, is, the, is basically the message. Don't give up. And also subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Did it for Cheers. me. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I get this YouTube stuff. <laughs> Sweet, Cheers, Thank you.